a Chinese national who was attached to the state-owned Aviation Industry Corp of China and actively worked on hypersonic weapons has switched sides. This has grave implications since the hypersonic weapon is one space where the U.S. is lagging behind. The U.S. officials were left stunned when a Financial Times report revealed that Beijing had tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile in August last year. The U.S. has been facing difficulty in this technology. For example, in December, the Air Force's air-launched rapid response weapon Arrow, failed in testing for the third time running in 2021, not even leaving the wing of the B-52 bomber carrying it. But things could now change. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the defection of Chinese scientists working on hypersonic weapons to the U.S. is a major victory. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed the speeds of Mach 5 which is five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour or 6,174 kilometers per hour. There are currently three methods being applied to make hypersonic weapons. Using a scramjet engine, like the Russian Zircon missile, through the use of hypersonic glide vehicle or HGV like the Chinese DFZF and under development American Aero and thirdly by using ALBM or air launched ballistic missile like the Russian Kinzhal missile. Hypersonic weapons combine the high speed of traditional ballistic missiles with the maneuverability of a cruise missile making them almost unstoppable with the current crop of air defense systems. A report in UK's publication Express provided some details citing sources. The man is in his 30s. As per sources, he's helped develop a mid-range hypersonic boost glide vehicle, most likely the DF ZF. The glide vehicle is carried by DF-17 or Dongfeng-17 solid-fueled road mobile medium-range ballistic missile and the system has a range of 2,000 miles or 3,200 kilometers. Viewers may note the DF-17 and DF-ZF was officially unveiled at the National Day Military Parade on the 1st of October 2019. Not only this, sources say the scientist is connected with a more recent hypersonic missile delivery system that can circle the globe before descending from space and use heat-seeking technology to strike any target on Earth. The test has stunned the U.S. power circle and demonstrated that China has developed the ability to strike any point of Earth in no time with little chance of being intercepted. The reason for defection is not an ideological one, but a purely professional one. As per reports, he was angry he didn't get promotions and proper recognition for his efforts.
The person made contact with a British intelligence asset in Hong Kong at the end of September last year. During that first tentative approach, he had stated he possessed detailed information about the hypersonic glide vehicle. Knowing he faced a firing squad if Beijing came to know, he demanded asylum for himself and his wife and child. A call was made to Vohal Cross, the London HQ of the Secret Intelligence Service, more commonly known as MI6, and a three-person team comprising two intelligence officers and a technical specialist were ready to deploy to Hong Kong. The CIA was also informed. There was an apprehension that he could be a double agent being planted by Beijing, so a cat-and-mouse game developed over the next few days in which the scientist's credentials were validated. It was during this process that the person, an avid fan of cricket who is believed to have once studied in England, began to reveal select details about China's latest hypersonic development. Eventually, a plan was hatched in which he and his family would travel to Hong Kong using a specially developed route. After that, they were made to fly to a more secure location, a U.S. airbase in Germany, then on to America via the UK. Speaking about the defection, the intelligence source stated, he was extremely cooperative, this is an intelligent man, a man who keenly follows cricket but prefers Jack Daniels to lager, a man who has played a key role in the development of hypersonic weapons in China, and a man who felt aggrieved by the way he had been treated. The source added, the fact we are in possession of certain details about the operational capability of this hypersonic glide missile puts us in a position we did not expect to be in at this time. It will probably buy us two years. We estimate it will take China two years to be able to make changes in its program sufficiently substantial as to render this intelligence ineffective. In this sphere, two years is a very long time. The U.S. Department of Defense is working in collaboration with national laboratories as well as private and academic institutions to deploy hypersonic missile capability in the early to mid-2020s. Chief of Defense Staff Admiral Sir Tony Radican confirmed that Britain had also joined the hypersonic race. For a while, the American military establishment remained undecided when it comes to developing and deploying hypersonic weapons. This led to U.S. military lagging in this technology. The U.S. is now playing catch-up and a lot of focus is on this now. As per reports, the U.S. military is pursuing nine programs that are dedicated to fielding hypersonic weapons. Not only this, but the U.S. military is also looking ahead and studying the feasibility of developing an air defense system that can take out incoming hypersonic weapons. At this juncture, the defection could mitigate certain technical issues and accelerate these programs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.